see you. Thank you so much for joining. We missed you. How are you doing? Um, I just said I, I work at oh, night. Okay. Okay. But today you went back to your schedule. Yes. Okay, okay that sounds good. Uh, Arnaldo, thank you so much for joining. Gabi, hello. Judy, how are you? Ricardo, me alegra mucho verlo. Espero que esté mejor. I hope you're feeling better. Good evening. How are you doing, guys? Andrea, great to see you here. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. ¿Cómo está, Ricardo? ¿Ya un poco mejor? Are you feeling better? Oh, convaleciente un poco. Ahora estamos. Okay. Si se siente más cómodo, eh, se gusta mantener la cámara apagada. That is totally fine. Uh, we get you. And, uh, um, y le agradezco enormemente por estar acá, you know. So, gracias. And uh, mm -hmm. espero que se recupere pronto. Thank you so much for that. Okay. Well, guys, uh, I truly appreciate having you here. Entramos a nuestra última semana, right? Um, so, this is going to go super fast, you know. Helen, good evening. Gracias, guys, por enviarme el audio con el ejercicio de pronunciación that we had from the previous class. Uh, vamos a continuar today working a little bit on pronunciation. Hello, how are you? Ya escuché la voz de Helen, too. <laughs> okay. Teacher, <laughs> so, it's working. <laughs> oh, you're working. No, guys, no trabajo. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm glad. I'm glad that you have a job. Yes, and, and I know. I know we have to work. Okay, guys. So, iniciamos el día de ahora. We are going to get started con la última unidad, that is number four. Uh, hablamos un poquito de safety, risk, and hazardous activities. So, ya les voy a, vamos a, you know, get familiar with this. Hi, Belen, good evening. Gabi, I'm glad to see you. Me imagino que ya está en casa, so super nice to see you. How are you doing, Gabi? Really good and tired because I went to with my family for an alert and big trip for five, five days or four days. I'm not, I'm not sure, but we travel, we drove like um, the first day, we drove 15 hours, and after that, um, 12 hours and four uh, for separate. Oh, where did you yeah. go? I'm with my family in the US. Oh. So uh, we drove to Florida, uh, I'm sorry, to Miami, after that to Florida, and then home again. Oh, wow, 15 hours yeah. driving. Yes. <laughs> Sounds That's super amazing, Gabby. tiring. Yeah, yeah, yeah but, a lot tired. But did you take turns? Uh, did you take turns driving? Yeah, or did yeah, I with one my person? brother and I her uh, girlfriend. Okay, but still, I mean, 15 hours, like, oh my God. So I remember the only time I have been uh, on a road trip, I was like probably 12 hours. But my back hurt, my behind hurt, <laughs> so everything hurts. So, but I'm glad you're back. So I'm glad to see you again and that you're sound and safe. Uh, Angelica, thank you so much for joining. Good to see you. All right, guys. Well, we are going to, you know, move on a little bit. Oh, guys, thank you uh, for terminar la sección numero tres as well. Thank you for working on that one. And please uh, try to finish working with number four. That is going to be the last. Um, to get us started today, guys, I have here like some pictures and uh, I need your help deciphering, okay, or giving us some ideas on what you think about this one. So here we have what can go wrong in the pictures. Guys, what is like, like the, the, the worst? Thing that can happen in each of the pictures. For example, here you have some pills, tablets, um, you have medicine. So what is the worst that can happen mm -hmm. when we're talking about mm -hmm. medicine? Those candy too. Candy? Are they candy? They, they look like, well, but let's say that is medicine. So what is the worst thing that can go like with medicine? Him him. 
like Eminem. Oh, <laughs> okay. But they are like, I don't know, bigger, I would say. Um, Eminem are kind of flat and these are kind of um, fluffy. <laughs> so I don't know, but probably. But guys, what is the worst that can happen with medicine? What can go wrong with medicine? Overdose. An overdose. Have you ever had, I don't know, a side effect with medicine? No. Uh, in my personal case, no, but I know some I know someone that took um a lot of uh uh ansiolyticos and she got oh. like uh she fell asleep uh almost like inconsciente. No, and she, she needed a, a lavado estomacal, a estomacal perdón. No, wow, so that was bad. That's really bad, especially because that kind of pill, those are very dangerous or sleeping pills, right? Si alguien tiene problemas de dormir, you know, and you start taking the sleeping pills. So that can be a little dangerous. So overdose, um, uh, yep. Two questions. The first one, what is overdose? And over, for example, imagine that I am feeling a terrible pain in my back, all right? And I say, I'm going to take two acetaminophen, but the pain is super strong and I feel that two pills are not enough. So I come and I start combining and instead of two, I take four or six or eight or 10, you know, because I am having a terrible pain. So overdose is over the normal dose or over the recommended dose. So okay. the doctor tells you, hey, take two, but because you don't feel well, you take four or six. That would be an overdose. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. And the second thing is just maybe an observation. Um, yeah. When I was a child, mm -hmm. I have a medical crisis because oh. um, I took, um, I don't remember what kind of medicine it are, what kind of medicine. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like something for uh, the flu, but it's a very uh, sweet medicine. <laughs> and, I, and I drank it when I oh. was a child. And then I fall asleep and my mother, when she arrived to the house, uh -huh. um, she found me, maybe some unconscious. Passed and, out? Oh, yeah. okay. It, it, well, in, in that moment when I was a child, it was very, very, very awkward if I get asleep at, uh, at the afternoon. Okay. Because I never, never get asleep at the afternoon. So it was so, uncommon uh, for you yeah, to... Yeah, it was okay. uncommon. Right? Oh. Uh, yeah. So, but uh, in my case, uh, in that in that moment, I don't I don't think too much about the medicines, about everything that I took. So um, I just think that I already have hungry. <laughs> that medicine was so good you, because it's sweet. No. Yeah, I don't understand about maybe the that that could be uh, bad. So that could have been an overdose. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> so then my mother found me and it took me to the hospital. Oh, of and, course, and she must have been same. worried. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. So like, if I mean, it's what. It was very difficult because they uh, did the same. Le mm -hmm. And I was conscious. So it's so painful. Oh, you were conscious. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So mm. I was asleep, but I already uh, feel everything. So mm -hmm. it was horrible. So that, 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 that is actually like kind of a past. Uh, like an overdose example so probably not uh, conscious you were not aware so i was not aware 
So a word, guys, or this expression that is in the chat, I was not aware, is like no estaba consciente, no lo sabía. So maybe you were not aware of the dangers of the medicine, but yeah. Um, guys, the other expression I forgot to mention, que le escribí arriba, so we have overdose, uh, we have passed out, right? Uh, so that is like this mayor says that inconsciente, so probably we just have an overdose or we can like pass out, right? So pass out is actually this, estar inconsciente. Wow, guys, you have a lot of experiences. Hi, Enrique, good evening. Thank you for joining. Ruben, hello. Angelica, great to see you. Hi, Carlos. Guys, do you have any experience you want to tell us with medicine? Hi. Hi there. I'm still you know. driving. Oh, okay. No worries. No worries. Take your time. Be safe. You know, um, it was not with medicine, but I remembered when my brother, my one of my older, um, my oldest, no, it was not my oldest. One of my, well, my older brother, um, he was like probably four years old. Um, and he saw my, because in the past there was no electricity. My brother is kind of old, right? So there were these candiles that were super famous in the past. So uh, to use them, you needed gas or gasoline. And my brother who was like four or five years old, he thought that it was cola champagne, you know? So he grabbed the bottle and he drank it. Um, my, fa my family lived far away from the hospital. Uh, they couldn't take my brother to the, to the hospital or anything, but uh, thank God, you know? So um, my brother is okay. <laughs> so no side effects, no consequences. But that was bad, you know? So it was not medicine, it was gasoline. Can you imagine? Um, guys, what about you? Do you have any experience you want to share with us? Did you ever drink or take something you were not supposed to when you were a little child? Uh, I'll say uh, lejia, teacher. Bleach. Oh. Bleach. Did you drink bleach? Yes, but just a little bit. No, what? Wow, this is dangerous. Bad. 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 This is really dangerous. Okay, so bleach. Milagro de Dios, you know? <laughs> no, I mean, wow. Okay, guys, what about the rest of you? Enrique, do you have any story to tell us? Mm. Once time I, I drank gasoline too. No, you drank gasoline? How old yeah. were you? Eh, pero es que fue porque estábamos pasando gasolina a un depósito. Okay, now in, now in English. <laughs> no sé cómo decirle eso. I este... was I was passing. I was fueling. I was uh -huh. It Don't complicate your life. Uh, gasoline to the deposit. Ah, okay. And you need a, a hose. Uh -huh. Ah, you, you see. To, uh -huh. No sé cómo decir, como inhalar, como jalar in, gasolina. Okay, so you were kind of in, it's not inhaling, porque no es con la nariz. That would be. Con la boca, o sea, como. Uh -huh, like. It's absorber este, yeah. Wait, pajilla. the thing is that you swallow. Me imagino que es como decimos estaba like I don't know how to how to explain that in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> but you swallow gasoline. So se yeah. tragó la gasolina. You swallow a gasoline. Little bit, a little bit. No, oh, no, okay. not too much. Not too much. Only to taste it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes. Wow. Yeah. So I think that we do have a couple of experiences. Uh, oh, you know, guys, nunca se metieron algo por la nariz, uh, pero not, nothing bad. <laughs> I'm just saying like frijolitos, mm -hmm. for example, coins. I don't know, when you were little kids, when you were playing, 
My grandmother has an accident with that teacher, but not in the nose. Uh, it was in the ear. She tried to clean the ear with a isopo, and it's very dangerous because the isopo gets stuck in, in the ear. So, uh, yeah. Oh. Cordon swap. Yeah. Ooh, so part so, of the cordon was stuck inside. Stucky, stucky. Ooh, yeah. Okay. And my my mother has a, a kind of the same situation, but not with a cordon swap. Uh, sino. But. But with a, uh, I was like, I don't know, eh, no sé si era una mosca o qué. Oh, a, a, fly, a fly got uh, into. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't the part, it's, it wasn't a, it's very funny, but, uh, <laughs> but it's not in a bad this way. Is a yeah, uh, it's a B, right. Uh, it's not in a bad way, but it's funny because she was in the hospital, okay. but in waiting. So that happened in the hospital. So obviously oh. they, they get attend so fast, right? But, <laughs> but yeah. So I mean, maybe the now situation. it is funny. <laughs> yeah, but as your mother... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but my mother says my mother uh, told me that she only heard something that is come on vibrating or like something flying like flying inside. Yeah, flying yeah. inside was so horrible. <laughs> yeah, um, that happened to me when I was a little girl, but not with a bee. It was not a fly. It was a I don't know how to call that insect, but it's super, super small. It's very tiny. Um, it is a smaller than a mosquito. Um, I don't know how it got into my ear, but it's horrible because the noise that you feel, it gets to your brain. So I totally get that. All right. So sorry, guys, I changed this letter. I, I had written P, but the correct letter is B. So that's a cut and swab. Uh, let, let's go over this. So we have overdose, that is extra medicine uh, or than, um, more than you need, you know. If you are familiar with um, Michael Jackson, for example, so Michael Jackson died of an overdose. So he got more medicine, uh, more pills, more medication than he needed. And uh, that happened a lot with drugs, with medicine, right, Mauricio? Suppose. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But people say that uh, Michael, Michael Jackson, Amy Winehouse, and you know a lot of famous artists. Uh, we have pass out, right? That is kind of desmayarse, like that inconsciente. So we can use the expression pass out, or uh, well, yeah. Then we have bleach. That is the liquid. Um, that we use for white clothes, right? Teacher, so I have a question. Mm -hmm. In some movies, I heard about the pass out word, but um, the use of, for example, I heard in a movie that uh, people try to explain some kids about uh, some mother or father. So they explain to the kid that the father or the mother pass out but it, it, it refers to they die. Oh, so. got it, got it. That one, that expression is different. That would be pass away. So, oh. se parece mucho. They are very similar, but they don't mean the same. If I tell you, oh, uh, my dog passed away. So that's falleció, murió, right? Died. This is the one. But pass out, this is desmayar so car inconsciente. So be careful because if you're saying, for example, I had, I don't know, diazepam, for example. So I took some pills and I pass away. It's like me morí. <laughs> so pass out, that would be desmayar so car inconsciente. And pass away, that is morir or die. Like so, a, like a like expression will be nice. No, I passed away. <laughs> no, definitely not. So we have bleach, right? That is lejia. Suelo, Enrique was telling us that he was trying to, uh, to move, uh, right? Um, gasoline from one container to the other. 
So that is swallow, like tragar, right? So not drinking because no es que Enrique said, oh, voy a probar la gasolina, right? So he did not do it intentionally, intentionally, but he swallowed it. So la tragó por accidente, so swallow. Si hablamos de una pastilla, that would be the same. No es que nos comemos una pastilla, we don't really um, eat it, drink it, but we swallow pills. So es como tragar, right? Uh, and cotton swab, that is the, um, los isopos, right? Those little thingies that we use to clean parts of our body. So uh, let me move on with the next part. So that is with medicine. Guys, what about the next one? What can go wrong? Imagine this girl. Um, she is, I don't know, drinking something. What can go wrong with the girl? Uh, she's using pajilla. Ah, a straw. Yeah, that's a straw. Oh. But what can go wrong? ¿Qué le puede pasar de malo? What can go wrong? It's a super... Oh, she can shock. Okay. Okay, so she can shock. Okay. Any other possibility, guys? Guys, have you ever uh, been, I don't know, like, have you ever gotten this feeling that you're chalking on something? I think this is very common, not only for babies, but for adults. Yes. Doing what or eating what? Whatever thing with your saliva, come on. Saliva. Saliva. With your okay. saliva, you're... So, okay, you're you can, you can choke on your normal. saliva, okay. Normally. Yeah, this is very common. Uh, any other scenario, guys, when you feel like choking? Nothing else, but this is um, very common, like yeah. Uh, ha sometimes happens to me that when I'm eating like bread that is has like a uh, crumbs. Eh, sí, yes. Ah, like muchas, bread crumbs. Uh, yeah. Like um oh like oh my god I don't know how to say Miga, that, that one that. yes yes bread crumbs okay oh or when you are eating these um. Pañuelitos, milojas, you know, like hojaldre, all this kind of bread that has a lot of, uh, they have a lot of crumbs, yeah. So, okay. Delicious, delicious. Yeah, it is delicious, but you must have water, you know, next to you or something, because just start talking, okay? Anything else, guys? Or when you are eating fast, right? When you're eating really fast. So that happens a lot, okay. So she can chop, uh, probably on her own saliva, probably she can be eating some crumbs and get chopped as well. Um, good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Hi, Francisco, how you doing? I'm fine. Nice, good to hear that. <laughs> Hi, Delmi. Good evening. Iris, hello. Thank you for joining, girls. Imelda, Kenya, hello, girls. Um, I feel I'm missing somebody, but I'm not sure who. Oh, Rafael, I'm missing Rafael. Okay, guys, so take a look at the next picture. So we have, <laughs> have you ever seen these? Is this like a carnival or a festival you would like to attend? Not really? The, no, no. Have you heard about this one before? Heard, heard that, yes. Before. I don't Is understand it? what kind of festival are you talking, teacher, about? Oh, guys, are you familiar with this festival? Are you familiar with uh, this picture? Corrida. Corrida. Corrida is in Spanish. Uh, yeah, exactly. This is Spain. Mm -hmm. uh, what What do you know about this festival, guys? What can you that share? Yeah, it that is, is so hard and in different situations at the same time. <laughs> uh, so this is like one of the most famous uh, carnivals or festivals, I would say, in Spain. 
Um, so this is like Pamplon, if I'm not mistaken. Um, the, there are a lot of bulls, ox, um, and the streets are like open for them. So the idea is like to uh, make them super angry mm -hmm. in Spain, make them super Spain. angry and you run. And that's it. <laughs> Guys, what can go wrong in this picture? What are like the worst things that can happen? Guys, definitely. The okay. animal can get mad. Okay, the animal can get mad. They can die. Okay, what else? And broke a leg or, or ah, arm. They, yeah, they can break a part of their body. Yes, that's right. What else? Give give us ideas. Give us ideas. What else can go wrong? You know, they have like big horns. So they can attack you, you know, they can hit you with one of the horns. So they are very dangerous animals. Probably, probably, probably if you know our help, you can they know because uh, the animal, uh, you can they do for an attack, her attack. Die? Like they can die, you can die? Yeah, you can die for a heart attack. Yeah, oh, yes. Yeah, you can, you can die of a heart attack because of the adrenaline. Yes, definitely. That can happen as well. All right. Uh, guys, I want to listen to everybody. Come on. <laughs> so the rest are like, oh, come on, guys. Okay, what about this girl? What about the picture? What is wrong here? Any ideas? Tell me what can you tell us about this picture? So what is wrong? ¿Qué es lo peor que puede pasar? Que se destraba el columpio. Oh, okay. So this, get, this thing you can get loose. Okay. Uh, so, piensen en decirlo final, guys. <laughs> Now you get loose. Okay. Oops, sorry. Uh, yeah, so the swing can get loose. So oh, let's say, teacher, desnucarse. No, break her neck. So she yes, can break her be. neck. Okay. What else, could guys? Happen, definitely. Okay, more possibilities. What else? Okay. Mm. Well, if you think um, the worst teacher, maybe she can't even die if she. Um, ¿Cómo sería? Se cae en una posición complicada. So the swing gets loose. Probably she can, uh, she can fall down, right? She can die. Yeah. Anything else? She can definitely die. But yeah, right. Those are kind of the dangers. So she can uh, fall down. I think this is the most common. And guys, this is the last picture. This is at night. So if we are talking about at night, what can go wrong at night? The thieves. Oh, okay. So you can Somebody see Somebody some can raid you. Oh, raid? Okay. But that's like the worst, right? Yeah. Clown thief types. Of Enrique? The clown types. types. Clown. Oh, <laughs> From yesterday, <laughs> so break a bone. Oh, okay, yeah, from this one, yes. So she can break a bone. Uh, the clown can be can appear in the in this one. Okay, yeah, guys, we are talking here about some dangerous activities. Uh, probably, for example, with medicine, we don't think it can be dangerous, but there is some danger with the girl, for example. You know. So in everyday life, we always have dangers. And today we're going to be talking about this. So dangerous things, risk or risky things and hazardous things. So take a look at the following questions, guys. Here we have, what does it mean to take a risk? Um, cuando decimos la expresión, oh, take a risk. ¿Qué implica? What do you understand by take a risk? Or what is take a risk for you? Number Arriesgate. Mm, but in what sense? Number two says, what are some of the risks associated with texting while driving? 
¿Alguna vez han oído esto? Don't text while driving. What are some of the risks associated with drinking alcohol? I mean, what can happen? You crash. Oh, you can definitely crash, but there are more. What are some of the risks associated with dental hygiene? Cuando hablamos de los dientes, right? When you're talking about your dental hygiene, what are some of the risks? And the last one, what are some risks associated with gambling? Guys, vamos a pronunciar esta palabra y luego vemos el significado. Dental hygiene. So repeat dental with me, please. Hygiene. Dental hygiene. Dental hygiene. Very good. So dental hygiene is like brushing your teeth, closing your teeth, um, going to the dentist and everything. So what are some of the reasons? ¿Qué es lo peor que puede pasar with dental hygiene? You know? Caries. Ah, there we go. How do you say caries in English? <laughs> So, uh, so we're going to get familiar with some vocabulary too. And la última, it says, what are some of the reasons associated with gambling? Gambling, guys, es como las apuestas o los juegos, but en el sentido de dar dinero, right? Cuando son co um, apostadores compulsivos. So what are some of the reasons associated with gambling? ¿Qué puede pasar si uno comienza a apostar? What can you go can wrong? Lose everything. You can lose everything. Everything goes wrong. Everything goes wrong. Everything goes wrong, but that everything implies what? Si alguna vez han visto películas, guys, de apostadores, you have like a clear idea there. Oh, que les van a llegar a cobrar. So you will see some collectors asking for money. They can beat you. You can have, I don't know. So what are some of the risks? And guys, vamos a contestar las cinco preguntas, but no quiero que lo escriban. Don't write it down, a menos que sea vocabulario nuevo. I will give you some minutes, uh, but quiero que las escuchen en grupos, guys. I want you to get some ideas as a group. No las escriban again, a menos que sea vocabulario totalmente nuevo. For example, in number four, probablemente encontramos la palabra caries. How would you say caries? How do you say limpiezas? How do you say rellenos? And probably, vamos a ir armando vocabulario en grupo también. Si alguien sabe cómo decirlo, perfect. Share that. Si no sabemos cómo decirlo, busquémoslo rapidito, you know, and we make it part of the vocabulary. Guys, tenemos cinco minutos. We got five minutes uh, to answer those questions. Le pueden tomar captura. You can take a picture and discuss them in the groups. Let me see, creo que se los puedo compartir en este teléfono. Okay, guys, let's go to the groups.
Good evening, teacher. Acabo de llegar. Hi, guys. Yeah, me too. So, no me había fijado lo que había puesto Francisco. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> no sé si Francisco les va a escuchar o he's going to participate, but solo nos mostró la foto. You know? <laughs> La evidencia. No. Para que vean que es cierto, teacher. No, Francisco, más que hambre, va. <laughs> okay, guys. So the idea is to, to like, discuss the questions that we have, right? Um, and to think about some of the risks. No sé si todos le tomaron foto or somebody can share that. Teacher, no le tomé. If not, let me share this. Y luego ustedes toman captura. No worries. So we got uh, part of the questions here. Like, and the question is, what are the risks, right? Like, in general, ¿qué puede pasar? So first, what does it mean to take a risk? Guys, ¿qué entienden ustedes por take a risk? What is this? <laughs> Encontró la calle. Sí, no sé cómo se dice. Hola, Miss. ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Cómo se dice? Perdóneme, se le está cortando. Eh, what was, o se me está cortando. What was the expiration? Es que está empezando a llover después. Oh, ok. Eh, ¿Cuál es la expresión que quiere decir? Guys, alguien le, le escuchó a Helen, no le logré, no le logré escuchar. Eh. No, no uh, se le escucha. Creo que la, ella quería saber qué significa Rick. Algo oh. así, alcancé a escuchar, pero no estoy segura, Piche. Oh, ok, ok. So, riesgos son riesgos. Uh, but si hablamos de riesgos, but si hablamos de take a risk. What does it mean to take a risk? So, ¿qué significa un riesgo? What is that? ¿O qué entienden por take a risk? Toma un riesgo, arriesgate. Ok, pero ¿en qué riesgo sentido? De, de cualquier tipo. I mean, yeah, la expresión es súper general. Los dangerous, los dangerous, the um, break of hand, por ejemplo. Or, oh. or, or the uh, decision for decisions. Oh, okay. Life, for example. Okay, yes. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, guys, what about the rest of you? Yeah, no worries, Helen, but lo puedes escribir acá. You can write it here, no problem. Uh, so, ¿cuál sería un riesgo para ustedes? What is something that implies risk? ¿Qué es algo que involucra riesgo? Rafael said, maybe a decision. That is for sure. A buy, uh, a buy Bitcoin, for example. Ah, yes, exactly. Buy Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. Risk takers. Guys, are you risk takers? Son personas que se arriesgan. Les gusta tomar riesgos. Are you risk takers? No teacher, in my case, I, I, I take a risk, but calculator, no sé, calculado. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> no tan así. <laughs> okay. Like, yes, um, <laughs> uh -huh. like a low risk. Low risk. So, uh, algo donde okay. no pierda tanto, like a low risk. Okay. okay. Guys, what about the rest of you? Francisco, Margarita, Tomar Riesgos, are you risk takers? For example, a risk that can be uh, Contraer COVID-19, no sé cómo decir. Get COVID. Eh, get COVID-19 eh, when I go to the seguro social. Ok. 
De que Reyes. Well, pero eso sería. Um, I mean, you do it. Sí, es un riesgo, pero no es que se va a arriesgar a. Or, or what do you mean? <laughs> so, si ¿sí va el seguro para, para que le dé COVID o le da miedo ir al seguro. When you go, when you go to, to bus, go to bus at work. Le escucho un poco lejos, Rafael. When, when, when you go to at work in bus, por ejemplo. Ok. Oh, se pone en riesgo. So you risk yourself. You take a risk. Oh, you take a risk. Ok. okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, got it, got it. All right. Ok. Yeah, you're totally right about it. Yeah, definitivamente, right? So tomamos el riesgo o estamos en riesgo de que nos de COVID, pero necesitamos trabajar también. So that's why we do it. Got it. Got it, got it. Okay, guys, what about the others? So, ¿cuáles son los riesgos de driving, you know, and texting, alcohol, etc.? Si gustan, guys, tómenle captura, uh, take a picture of this one. So, les queda para que la puedan compartir. So, you can share it. Okay, thank you. Um, so please guys, discuss the others and nos vemos en unos minutitos. Uh, no tienen que anotar okay. nada. You don't need to write anything. No. Le vamos a preguntar. Teacher, thanks you're here. <laughs> I have a question for you Hi. because I don't remember. Uh, you told us about a phrase uh, because I told you about lost the conscience. What was that phrase? It, it not pass out. You use it something different. I'm like, wait. Uh, if you are talking about the one, so the most common is pass out. Uh, pass out, faint. Uh, no, 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 Yo no sé si es que usó una palabra que llevaba algo así como way. Uh, no, probablemente aware. No, way. No, era, era una frase, era una frase que llevaba la palabra away, pero no recuerdo. Uh, no, 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 pass away. No, no, no me acuerdo. Pero bueno, no importa. Entonces la cuestión es que también pass away o lost conscience está bien. No, wait, pass no, away. Pass wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Hold on. Pass <laughs> out es desmayarse o perder la conciencia. Pero pass away, que es la otra expresión que creo que les compartí, pass away es diferente y suele confundirse bastante. Pero pass away mm -hmm. es morir. So, mm -hmm. si le digo, mi abuelita ya falleció, so my grandma passed away two years ago. Pero si le digo, my grandma passed out, es como ella se desmayó, o ella perdió conciencia, o se noqueó, you know. So, son diferentes. Uh, so, pass out, faint, lose consciousness, sí, eso sí se puede usar. Pass away, no, <ríe> es diferente. Ok, ok. Well, uh, the next one is... Ah, teacher, eh... Teníamos la duda que si, por ejemplo, en la expresión se te caen los dientes, eh, it will be loose or fall. Um, so, ambos están bien. If you lose your teeth, that is okay. Or you can use fall, pero sería con out. If your teeth fall out. Si los pierdes, si se caen. Mm. If your teeth fall out. Ok. But the worst thing that it could happen with if you have a uh, wor um bad uh, dental hygiene is die <laughs> because you can yes. have an abscess. You can have you an abscess. infections. Yes, or probably uh, there is a specific kind of bacteria that if you have and you are going to be uh, or have a, a heart uh, um problema del corazón. 
heart problems. Yeah, uh, that a specific bacteria could uh, drive um, through all your blood and causes a heart attack. Oh, from your mm -hmm. teeth? Yes. Oh, chicas, es que somos con Gabi, guys. I have forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> so Gabby, you're the perfect person to explain this uh, uh, th this up to us. Uh, I didn't know that a bacteria can cause a heart attack, but I know that bacteria can be very dangerous um, because they can affect your nerves, right? Especially infections. Um, but what is like the most dangerous thing? Um, die is like that. Es el tope de todo eh, morir, pero de ahí puede ser una very serious infection that you probably lose uh, all your uh, um, ¿cómo se dice? Eh, mandíbula. No, your Lo jaw. Lo en español. Yeah. Your jaw. Yeah, por a necrosis. No. Yeah. What? A part of. Can mm -hmm. that happen? So you can lose yeah. your jaw because it's yeah, getting blackened. Yeah, probably if you have a really, really bad infection and you have, and you have, uh, you cannot, uh, you don't take care of it. Hay personas que se empiezan con algo chiquitito y no le ponen importancia y sigue, y sigue, y sigue, y sigue, y sigue hasta que es demasiado tarde. But when you say necrosis, uh, so you mean like literally, right? Your jaw changes color. Uh, not, the not, necessarily. Job, not, not the entire job, but part of it. So, but, but it is visible. I mean, that you see like some parts getting black, uh, darker. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Can, yeah everything can, can, uh, can pass or can, everything can happen in the body. Everybody oh uh, reacts God. in a different way. I didn't know that you could lose part mm -hmm. of your bone or your jaw. Uh, or, or probably if you are taking bisphosphonatus, it's like a special uh, medicine for persons that have uh, problems with their bones. Uh, mm -hmm. They have to uh, be or they have to take care very well of their day and have an excellent dental hygiene because uh, for una mínima infección o mínima bacteria, mm -hmm. igual cancer, necrosis etc so they can get cancer like in the gum no not in the in the gum in the in the bone in the because bone. their bone is already uh affected so they oh. if they take that special medicine the bone is like uh not um it's not, not like strong so um cualquier infección they can so ya de por sí ya de por sí el, el medicamento que da ciertos efectos secundarios, pero si la persona no se cuida, o sea, puede ser aún peor. Wow, that is super mm -hmm. important, you know. I, I didn't know mm -hmm. that. I, I'm like super, I don't know, um, in shock now because I didn't know that you can lose part of your uh, jawbone or you can lose like part of your, of your, I don't know, is that mouth bone? I don't know. I don't know exactly, but wow. So I, I know that they are dangerous, yes? Even, um, I don't know so much about the, the dental hygiene. Obviously, the, the most common things, but I already uh, read an history about a woman that they follow all the teeth, teeth. I don't know, no sé cómo pronunciarlo, no sé cómo decirlo. Oh. Uh, oh, oh, that's a very important word. Uh, so, yeah, remember that the TH is como una uh -huh. Z. So, in realidad, lo yes. pronunciamos como T. Yes. But, yes. si tenemos que sacar el sonido, right? Porque yes. si decimos otra cosa, o más corto el sonido, es otra parte del cuerpo. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's yes. why. This is important. So, T. Okay. Es so, el lengua un poco. So, T. So the lady fell out all the teeth, and it was because um, she got pre pregnant, and I don't know, I don't know how, but it's about the pregnancy that I she have lost. Heard, I have yeah. heard that is because you lose like some Maybe vitamins or... Yeah. I don't know if it's calcium, like calcium or something. Maybe but, Gabby can explain that to us a little bit. 
it's not because you get pregnant. It's because your immune system uh, gets down due to the baby because the a body has to accept the baby. So to do that, the immune system down gets down and it's like more uh, perceptible, more more... susceptible. Oh. El, el sistema inmunológico se baja o se deprime un poco para que el cuerpo acepte el bebé y todos los cambios Como que están pasando. Como si eres alérgica a tu, a tu propio bebé. <ríe> Algo así, entonces el sistema inmune se baja un poco para poder aceptarlo y cuando eso sucede, si hay un mal infección, o sea, si hay mucha infección, si hay eh, problemas dentales o una super mal higiene, eh, como el mismo cuerpo está como con el sistema inmune bajo, con las defensas bajas, entonces, entonces cualquier pequeña infección se convierte en gigantesca y el ah. cuerpo lo reacciona súper mal, aunque sea algo bien mínimo que usualmente no reaccionaría así. That's why when a woman is pregnant, uh, pregnant so and, obvio, and also when uh, we are in our period, also happens that, but in a, in a um, más pequeña manera. Oh, okay, okay. So that's why also your sight is affected, right? I have heard ah. that women's sight gets affected. Teeth Eso es porque la presión a veces se, se eleva también. Oh, mm -hmm. that sounds very interesting. Okay, okay. Wow, thank you so much for that. That is really cool to hear. Uh, and guys, I think that you are missing one more that is gambling. So I don't know if you have ever gambled. And what can you tell us about it? Guys, I'll see you in a couple of minutes. So let's go with that one. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for coming back. And uh, I think I'm missing a couple of guys still. So guys, how was your practice? I had the chance to listen to a couple of groups. That was very interesting indeed. Super interesante, guys, uh, to listen to uh, your points of view, to your um, experiences, recommendations, and then it, everything you mentioned was just amazing. Um, guys, so first, I have a question for you that is related to this uh, risk 
thingy that is this one. Are you a risk take? Sorry, are you a risk taker? Guys, do you consider yourself a risk taker? Are you a risk taker? ¿Les gusta arriesgarse? ¿Son de las personas aventureras? Are you adventurous? ¿Toman riesgos? In my yes. Case, yes. You do? Okay. What about the rest? Just when I feel comfortable in a thing. Uh, so that is no risk. <laughs> okay, no, just kidding. Okay, so only when you feel comfortable. Okay, so uh, for example, alguien mencionó bitcoins in one of the groups. Guys, alguien invirtió in bitcoins? Did you invest in bitcoins? No, teacher. No, nobody did. Nadie se arriesgó, nadie ganó, nadie perdió, guys. I do. Yo perdí. Oh, how much? Yeah, I, I, no sé cómo decir que recargué, o sea, porque hay como recarga, o sea, usted mete el dinero. No ok. Sé. So... O sea, metí como, o sea, 80 dólares. Ok. Y, pero no, no lo iba metiendo así, sino pues, de un solo, sino que es de irlo metiendo poco a poco. Okay. Cuando usted, cuando... Cuando se mire que esté bajo el Bitcoin. Okay, so that would be transfer. You kind of transfer $80, but hasta este momento ganó o perdió? He ganado como $20. Oh, okay. Sounds, sounds good. So no sé qué explicar, Enrique, how to do that. Because <laughs> I think that most of us perdimos Esa es la dinero. Cosa. I o sea, think. tienen que, que perder dinero cuando esté bajo. Okay. Pero no todo el dinero, sino que poco a poco. Porque si baja más, ya uno puede ir metiendo más dinero. Oh. O sea, ahorita está abajo. Yo he metido dinero. Ahorita tengo como 70 metidos. Pero... Oh. Ok. Mm -hmm. El problema es si baja más, right? But there is no way to know. No, but the Bitcoin es, no sé, es volátil, entonces puede uh -huh. bajar y de repente sube bastante y yo saco, digamos, lo que metí más algo. Like que the me extra. Me... Ah, ok, ok. Sounds quite reasonable. Yuri, ¿cuánto ganó? ¿Cuánto perdió? How much did you win or lost? Eh, la primera vez invertí 100 dólares. Wow. Y subí y subió. Pero de ahí solo para abajo, para abajo, y entonces mejor me lo fui a gastar. <laughs> so you invested $100, pero cuando ganó, no lo sacó. You didn't take it off. You, you, you didn't withdraw it. No. Lo dejó ahí. Yes. Oh, ok. So probably, as Enrique said, right? I mean, cuando ya ganen, probably, Enrique, I don't know if that is a good recommendation. So, que lo saquen, that you can withdraw it. Que lo saquen inmediatamente. I don't know if that can work. Guys, oh, ¿qué más ha invertido? Or, yeah. Yuri? Or, or pass the, ¿cómo se dice? O se pasa a, la, a, a dólares. Oh, you can convert uh, it. Convert it. Yes. You convert it to dollars. Okay, okay. Yeah, guys, I mean, this the, from the uh, the president gave the $30 or $40, I don't remember. Ya nunca revisé el archivo wallet, so I have no idea. <laughs> guys, what about the rest? Alguien más ha ganado, ha perdido? Who wants to tell us? I, I, I win uh, like $10, but just with the bonus. Oh, just with the bonus. With, with the bug that Chivo Wallet had mm, for okay. a month, I guess. Like referral? No, no, you can trade. Oh, Ra and if you trade? Trade, trade. you can uh -huh. trade. Okay. Uh, because you you can see uh, the price at the moment of the Bitcoin. Okay. So if you think that the Bitcoin could be rice okay. you can convert mm -hmm. and probably gain uh, a, a dollars or, mm -hmm. or less but in, 
for a month, uh, she will have a book about that. Okay, okay. I didn't really know because I'm not in Chivo Waller, but that sounds good. One dollar is a dollar, you know, so you can always um, increase, I guess, your funds. Okay, guys. So, um, well, yeah. I mean, no, because uh, all the money is uh, about our taxes. So, oh, in the Bitcoin. I don't, yeah, I mean, in, I know the, that the our debt is... Sorry, in the in the, chill, in the, chill. In all, the wallet. The Bitcoin, yeah, it, all the Bitcoin is about our taxes, so you are paying for that. I mean, yeah, that's why I got my $30, but, but <laughs> still, after the $30, you know, whatever you do, it's your own money, right? Whether you win or lose, but definitely all right guys but it was very nice to listen to some of your ideas talking about risk you know like while um either it was uh texting driving or drinking or with the dental hygiene so that was good i just got a couple of questions um al inicio alguien mencionaba um oh my god i forgot the word caries guys encontraron la palabra para caries did you find the word for that Cavities. Cavities. Dental exactly. Cavities. Dental cavities. Cavities. All right. Very nice. So that is related to dental hygiene. That is totally good. So we have cavities. Uh, what is what else is related to dental hygiene? Bad uh, breath. Oh, bad breath. Okay. Sounds all right. Anything else? Yeah. Lose your teeth. Yeah, you can use your teeth. Yeah. Guys, how do you say rellenos? Like to eat? <laughs> no, but no food. <laughs> no, rellenos that you go to the dentist, you get something, some work done in your teeth. So how do you say rellenos or limpiezas or those process? I guess the, the, the last. Well, limpieza is actually very similar. So we can call it uh, in terminos, you know, uh, cristianos, <laughs> that would be a cleaning or profi. So cleaning or like when you say in Spanish, prophylaxis, that's a profi. So, dental feeling? Yes, exactly. So those are feelings. Yes. So we have dental feelings. Yeah, that is related to our dental hygiene as well, right? Okay, guys, very nice. Now, um, talking about risk, I have some vocabulary that can be useful at the moment of expressing opinions, give me a moment, um, and describing some expressions. Uh, so I have here, for example, the word safety, ya la revisamos before, so I don't think you need or you'll have some difficulties with this. So that is uh, safety. We have top priority, right? Algo que es super importante, or this is a top priority topic. Uh, risk taker, right? Si ustedes toman o no toman riesgos. Setback, achievement, fear, fitness, and strength. Setback. Guys, any idea what this is? Um, sorry, guys. Solo give me a moment. Voy a cerrar la puerta. In the meantime, do me a big favor. Lean las, las expresiones. Go over the expressions. Check them, please. Y revisen si hay algo nuevo. Something that an expression you don't know or an expression you don't understand. Denme un minuto, please. So guys, do you recognize all the expressions here? 
So what that means um setback. Okay, so setback, give me a sec. I'm just going to uh, select it. Okay. Any other word that is uh new to you guys? Uh, do you identify? Do you recognize the rest of the words? Yeah, are we good? Um, to get a thrill out of. Yeah. Ash, Ash, I name. Standard. Standard. Um, Mauricio, I'm sorry, what was the expression? A uh, shy bum. A uh, shy bum, I guess. To write your standard of a uh, shy man. Do you mean this one? Uh, yes. Okay. Oh, got it, got it. I saw it already. Okay, so to raise your summer achievements. Okay, anything else, guys? Teacher, mm -hmm. to, to face danger, no es literal, vea, la traducción. Eh... No. What do you understand? ¿Qué entiende por face danger? Face danger. Face es como el rostro o la cara, pero uh -huh. es peligrosa. O eres peligroso. Enfrentar um, el peligro. Actually, yeah. Peligro. The thing is that la, la expresión Dangerous. face. Yeah, Carlos, please. No, no. Como go ahead. Go, go ahead. <laughs> 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 Please. <laughs> I'm waiting on you. <laughs> no, yes. No, the thing is that the expression face sí es rostro, pero también es un verbo que es enfrentar, you know, o hacer frente a algo. So that's why whenever you say like, oh, face to face or face me, es como enfrentame, veme a la cara. So that is pretty much the meaning of this one. So when we see to face danger, no es que el le ponga el rostro al peligro, but it's que se enfrente, right? That you can face, um, o le puede decir a alguien, enfrenta tus problemas, face your problems, face your fears. So it's, it's like a It's friend. always a risk expression. Yeah, they are related to risk. They are definitely risky. So uh, in regards to setback, that means reversal, or that means like algo que causa un revés, you know, a una situación, right? Uh, so, for example, uh, I'm trying to do something now, pero obtengo un resultado adverso. So, that is a setback. I'm getting the opposite that I'm supposed to get. So, that is a reversal. Achievement um, that is related to success or succeed, because achievements son todos los logros, guys. Todas las cosas buenas que han logrado uh, so far. To raise your standard of achievement is como incrementar lo que ustedes quieren lograr, right? Because we're talking about risk. Um, we have the other, uh, if we take a look, we have face danger, right? Que nos enfrentemos a los miedos or peligros. Uh, to be under a lot of pressure. Uh, so normally when we are under a lot of pressure, a lot of things can go wrong. To find a balance, to raise your standard of achievement. To follow a strict routine, mm -hmm. to follow, to run wild. And me gusta mucho esta, to be willing to try new things, right? Cuando hablamos de miedos, especialmente riesgos, hazards, etc. Eso es bien importante, to be willing to try new things. Guys, are you willing to try new things? To be willing yes, to try yes. new things. Yeah. Even I have a phrase, well, for my life, um, 
uh, maybe it's uh, not it's in general, but you can take it. You don't have to say no if you don't try it, if you don't see it, if you don't do it. Oh, it sounds really nice. But it is easier said than done. <laughs> so, siempre cuando hablamos de miedos, guys, es mucho más fácil, you know, um, cuando lo decimos, right? But cuando lo enfrentamos, when we face risks, when we face dangers, ooh, you know, mi admiración for the people who can definitely do it. So that is very important to be willing. Um, so willing is like tener ganas de, right? To be willing to try new things. Um, oh, I like this one, to overcome your fears, right? So whatever fear we can have, so you have to overcome your fears, como superarlos, right? Uh, Feel better. Quitarse los miedos o superar sus miedos, yeah. Then we have take okay, risks. Okay. Uh, <laughs> una canción, yeah. To take risks that we say is like tomar riesgos. And this expression, to get a three letter of it. Um, no sé si alguna vez les ha pasado que algo les da miedo, pero al mismo tiempo es emocionante, you know. So it's a scary, but it's super exciting. So eso es to get a thrill out of, or to have a rush of adrenaline. So I get a thrill out of racing cars, for example. Me da mucho miedo cuando alguien maneja rápido, but it is super exciting. So I get a thrill out of riding a motorcycle or driving a race car. So to get a three letter, so me, me emociona. It's super exciting, but it is um, dangerous too. To look for excitement, to win respect, to meet new challenges. Especialmente en el trabajo, vamos a utilizar esta mucho, to meet new challenges, que encontramos retos, right? Um, so encontramos, but if you take a look, la expresión en inglés es to meet new challenges. So you're going to meet new challenges and to test your limits. So, solamente les quería mostrar part of this vocabulary. Me alegra mucho que son palabras, no muchas palabras fueron nuevas, so I'm really glad about it. Vamos a trabajar luego setback, achievement, and the rest of them. But we have to move on a little bit, and uh, I have the next exercise for you. So, give me one moment. Okay, there we go. And we have, guys, this little picture right here. Um, so, estamos hablando de safety, risk, dangers, and all of that. So, take a look at this picture, guys, and tell us qué puede pasar. ¿Cuáles son los peligros? What are the dangers in this picture? ¿Y qué puede pasar? No this is a home. Y estoy segura que más de alguna vez algo nos ha pasado at home, right? If we start listing our things, guys, ahora abrí una lata y me corté un pedazo de dedo, you know? So that is like a, a, like, um, a risk of using cans and those things. So do me a big favor, guys. Um, vamos a trabajar en grupos. We're going to be working in groups. Please help each other. Tomarle captura um, a esta picture, so take um, a screenshot, and uh, vamos a compartir what are the risks that you see in this picture. So, ¿qué es lo que logran ver, guys? What is going on? ¿Qué está pasando y cuáles son los peligros that you see here, right? Uh, ¿Qué es lo peor que puede pasar? I mean, sabemos que lo peor es la muerte, but besides death, ¿qué puede pasar? For example, you see... El, um, you see this little, uh, I think it's a tricycle. You see a night on here. So what can happen, right? I'm going to give you some minutes. And uh, there you go. Guys, vámonos a los grupos. Tenemos cinco minutos. New vocabulary, please. No se les olvide escribirlo. Try to write it down. So let's go.
eh, eh, jalar como es? Uh, maybe push up or something push. like that. Pull. Push creo que es empujar, pull. jalar. Pull. 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 Yes. Pull. I, I pull the wire of the iron. So the iron um, fall down in my arm. So I have oh. a, a bone. In, in, in what My hat? arm was born. In what hat? Sorry? In what hat the, the uh, arrow? Sorry, I don't understand. Was hat, caliente. Yes, hot. it was a, a yes, it was very hot. It was a, a big, um, um, no sé cómo sería quemadura, pero tuve una gran quemadura. Even I, 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 I have the scar, a scar, yes, a cicatriz, verdad? Yes, yes, you can use a scar. I, I have a big scar in my arm. Even now I have the scar. Is it visible? Yes, it's visible. Uh, I'm my sorry. My mom said... Oh, go ahead, go ahead, please. <laughs> and now my mom said uh, that um, my arm, I don't know how do you say it, but que mi brazo se abrió. Que, que fue tan fuerte la quemadura que mi brazo se abrió. What? Yes. It was very, very dangerous. Uh, what did you get burned with? Was it with, a, with, with an the iron? iron? Yes. Uh, the iron it the was iron. exactly exactly how the picture. So I pulled the, the wire of the iron. Okay, so you pull it and, and the iron uh, flat or like the steel got into your skin. Yes, uh, uh, the iron fall down in my, in all my arm. Oh. Because I, I was a baby, <laughs> I was a, a little baby. So oh. the safe of the iron, <laughs> it was big to my arm. That's why, uh, but you don't remember it, do you? No, no, I don't remember anything. Something like that was with, with my daughter, but with a soup. What happened to your daughter? And my daughter threw a soup on her arm was a, uh, how do you say, quemadura? A burn. A burn of second grade. Oh. But wow. I think that the, the burn of Andrea, I think, was of third grade. Uh, it made this. Yes. Mm, I would say My daughter second. Lost, lost, lost the fears. The first layer. How do you say? La yes. primera capa, the first layer, the skin yeah. layer. The first layer. She oh. lost, yes. Okay. Well, normally the first, uh, solo es como enrojecido, right? So the first degree burn. The second, normally it, it is a little bit deeper. Y pues la tercera que ya llega al hueso, but it's kind of bad, you know. Uh, but, but the thing is that... But, but was the, like, uh, when we have a uh, ampolla, how do you say? A blister. Yes, a blister, but that, that blister se pinchó. Okay, so like all the layer was removed. Yes, oh, and okay. we have to go to went to the hospital okay. and the doctor removed the, the skin. Oh, okay. But how yeah. old was your baby? How old was your daughter? And she, she was maybe one year. Oh, okay. Because it right now she, she had 
two years. Oh, okay. Yes, but she she didn't stop to cry for two hours. Or poor thing, poor little thing. Uh huh. Yeah, that, yes. that must have been horrible. All right. Yeah, Once I guess terrible. I definitely think so. Yes. Oh. Maybe she she never remember, but for me it was terrible but you remember so that is what what matters too okay yes, yes. in the, in and the, case the, of, the, the fall. sorry uh, uh, just uh, in the case of my mom she always feel guilty guilty, guilty because yes, uh, yes. Because, uh, it was an accident but uh, but mm -hmm. she feel very guilty Oh, it is your burn like super big? Can I can we see that? I'm sorry, uh, I'm super curious. <laughs> <laughs> no, and uh, now it's just a little um mancha. Oh, like a spot. Yes, but I remember when I was a, a kid, it was like a um a little um maybe a, how do you say like a, like a blister? Oh, like a blister. Uh, Yes, when I was a kid, it was um, como estaba como hinchado. <laughs> oh, todavía, still. No, no, no now it's just a little, um, una manchita. Like a sort of mancha, pero, oh, okay. Yes, pero oh. eh, es a, a todo lo largo del brazo. O sea, fue creciendo oh. junto conmigo, la cicatriz. Ah, oh, okay. Well, but, <laughs> but, yeah, it was an accident, you know, so your mom was not guilty, yes. so they just happened. Mm -hmm. And my and my sister-in-law has a scar like that. Oh, like a burn too? Yes, with an uh, item. Oh, okay. Well, but, uh, wow, guys, do you have a lot of uh, stories, guys? Y no nos quieren contar, yo sí. Ay, ya le iban a poner injerto de piel. No, se fue de tercer grado then. Yes. Wow, that, was, that sounds bad. But is she okay now? Is she all right? Yes, just because now she is 26 years old. And that was when she was one year old. Oh, okay. So a long time ago. All right. I see. Yes. I see. In in that age is is common had those accidents. Yeah. Because I I I I feel I feel guilty. I yeah. felt guilty. And then a lot of people um how do you say me conto? Told me. Told me a lot of histories uh -huh. that when I was a child, my 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 mom este, um, um, was cooking beans and I pulled the la voy hirviendo. Yeah. <laughs> y me cayó en el estómago and, and I I can so that all the babies have that accident yeah I frequently. think it's, exactly so they are just accidents I mean sometimes they can be avoided but sometimes they cannot so but yeah they they are accidents imagine what I told you but, that, that my brother but told like, was uh-huh but like like in the picture we create the the conditions for the oh. accidents that is and that thing. is why I feel guilty because oh. we we can prevent all these accidents. Oh, sometimes <laughs> I still am like sometimes, but yeah, yeah, most of them can be prevented. Okay, guys, what about the yeah. rest of you? Do you have any stories to tell us, or what can go wrong in the picture? For me, no, teacher. Unfortunately. So fortunately, nothing yeah, happened to you. No home accidents. That, that's a bad for my 
my ¿Cómo digo, compañeras? Uh, no you can say classmates. My classmates. That's that's a bad for my classmates. It's a terrible story. Uh, but do you have baby? Uh, babies, Mauricio? Yes, but we have accident like that. Uh, Yet. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> How old is your never. baby? I hope never. No, hopefully no. How old is your baby? Uh, I have two babies. Um, oh. I have one of six years old, and oh. the other has two years old. Oh, okay, six and two. All right. Now, but but también guys, tiene que ver mucho like your baby's personality. Si son como bien tranquilitos, or if they are terrible. <laughs> because yes. The, because the, my, the, my little yeah. baby is like that is. It's terrible, terrible. Ah, so they're like mischievous because yeah. I don't have many stories. The yeah. common that the, they are is open the the door oh, and okay. go for the the street. Uh, oh, so they go to the street. Pendiente, como se dice? We have to be alert. We have to be alert. So you have to be alert on that because I was like, I don't have many scars, you know, so no, era como muy, uh, I was not that terrible when I was a little girl, pero mi hermana tiene como like 20 mil, you know, <laughs> scars all over her body and uh, cada, cada una tiene una historia. So I think it's amazing. <laughs> which, which of the two kids opened the door? <laughs> Oh, the, the baby, the two year the old, like two years the old, baby. Oh, yes. wow. oh my god, so you got to be careful. It's a demon. It's a you, demon. you have no. to, to buy, you have to buy, um, uh, una baranda. How do you say, baranda? like a fence? Yes, but yes, no, it's a. Hi guys, uh, did you finish? Did you share a little bit about the, um, the questions you have? So did you describe the pictures? Yes, teacher, uh, we uh, have some uh, like a risk that could okay. be in the picture. Oh, okay. So what risks did you identify in the picture? There you are. So, um, what can happen in this picture? Well, first of all, guys, um, I don't know if you, were you like terrible when you were younger? Eran bastante inquietos o inquietas? Were you kind of terrible? Not really. <laughs> Okay, Helen, yes. <laughs> Helen was. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> were you terrible, Helen? No. Mar <laughs> no, sé, Rick. Margarita, what about you? So, um, ¿alguna vez les ha pasado? Have you ever had like a home accident? or like any issue at home. Creo que todos nos ha pasado, right? So we have cut, uh, I don't know, part of the finger, part of the nail. Uh, we have a crunch, you know, like, um, I don't know. And uh, um, that happened to me with nails most often. So, ¿qué les ha pasado, guys? What are some of the, of the accidents that can happen at home uh, when we see like this picture? For example, I think everybody's familiar with the iron, 
¿Alguna vez en quemado, guys? Have you ever gotten burned with the iron? Twice? What happened, Gaby? Yes, teacher. What happened? Um, I'm kind of lazy to put the 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 um the table to uh, iron my clothes, so okay. I I used to iron my clothes on the bed. Oh, uh, me so too. I, okay. I I didn't, I didn't understand the first one, so twice I burned my uh, my leg and also my arm, and I still oh. have I think the last like the cicatrices. The scar. <laughs> yes, I, in my life. Wait, wait, wait. So when you say that you were ironing the clothes on your bed, what do you mean? Were you, were you lying down? Yeah, I, I was like a seat with my uh, legs open and, uh, and the, the shirt in front or in the middle of my legs and the iron uh, be, uh, like uh, la par de mi pierna. No, Gaby. But, but with la parte caliente viendo hacia la ropa, no uh -huh. hacia mi piel, pero obviously se, it se turn. It, Like yeah. it turn around. Yeah, it turn oh. and make it con, una, con la puntita. Yeah, yeah, got it. Y no okay. prendía la primera. Oh, so you needed a second. You needed a second attempt. Oh, the thing is that no había entendido cómo you iron, because normally when I iron in my bed, so it's como I don't want to move that much, you know. So, um, pero si, si I am standing, you know. So I stand up and I iron standing up. So I was like, wait, como es que se quemó? how did she get burned? So you were sitting on the bed. Ah, uh, okay, okay, but okay. Oh, but let's say that it was not like a big, big accident. So just to get a little burned. Okay. Yeah, but the other one, I was like a cutting hikamas mm -hmm. and the, on the table and I was with a cold board and with a knife. I was doing, I think, all things right. But uh, just for a moment, I distract myself because I received a message in my cell phone. Okay. And in that moment, I was cutting that la hikama and I got my finger in the half. Mm -hmm. I have la mitad like, like the tip? Si, la yema. Like the fingertip, you, you cut yeah, it out. I so I got uh, like five it's, puntadas. You got a stitches. Yes. No. Yes, but that was knees, how, how, how was that possible? So um, I, I don't know. So fue como en mecánico that you were like cutting that thing out. Ooh, that must have been super, um, oh. Okay, super painful. But si tiene tiene sensibilidad, do you have sensible uh, uh el resto de la yema sí, pero exactamente donde me corté, no. I, I imagine so. Wow, but half half of your fingertip. Wow. Okay, that was a big accident, definitely. Ooh, guys, what about you? What can go wrong in this picture or what stories do you have to share with us? So um, Helen, well, Ricardo, creo que está en convalescencia, but um, creo que estaba Ceci. No, Margarita se fue. Okay. So Helen, what, what can you tell us about your experiences? Uh, my case, uh, short circuit. Circuit? Así se dice. A short circuit. circuit. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I feel current. Corriente, mm -hmm. Corriente. and I panic for moments mm -hmm. only. Oh, what, what were you doing? Like, did you touch any cord or electrical equipment? Eh, eh, planchando, ¿cómo se dice? Oh, ironing. Uh, ironing. Oh. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Wow, no, no more accidents then? No, teacher, no, no. Uh, nice. Nice. Sounds good. <laughs> wow. Um, Solo fue el susto. So we just get scared. I totally get that. Um, you know, a couple of things have happened to me, but no sé si es que soy, um, I have a static. I don't remember how it is called. 
But when I was a little girl, I remember that I received como una descarga eléctrica, you know? So I received kind of an electrical um, current shock. I don't know. So um, from that moment on, um, suelo tener como estática, you know? So I can be sitting down, for example, in front of the computer. And if there is another person, o oh, depende de la ropa que ande, um, so, I, and I can touch another person, se siente like, so it is a horrible, that, that is a very bad feeling. I feel, um, uh, hormigueo, como se dice? Oh, numb. Oh, so, yeah, that's numb. Numb. Oh, okay. So you feel kind of numb. Well, but but that happens to me very often um, when I am trying to touch something made out of a steel or iron. Uh, so I need to like touch it two times, you know, like <laughs> just to make sure that I will not have an electrical shortcut or something. It's super crazy. And it happened to me like one year ago, I was cleaning my refrigerator and uh, I unplugged it. So ya estaba desconectada. It was off, unplugged. And uh, I put some water into the freezer porque yo no la quería descarchar, limpiar and everything. And I remember it was super crazy because I touched the water on the freezer, not even the, the refrigerator. I just touched the water and it was like, I, I got electricity out of the water. So I was like, no, that's bad, you know. So I normally get uh, home, you know, um, accidents because of that. So no sé si es por la descarga eléctrica or, or my body, you know, um, has some kind of static electricity, but that's super bad, super horrible. ¿Les ha pasado something like that, guys? Gabby? Sometimes when I uh, touch uh, like a door or or even another person just with a finger and I feel like the electricity and it feels really weird. But yeah, um, yeah not, not like a painful, just weird. Oh, for me, it's kind of painful, I would say. <laughs> it's, it's weird because that, that happens to me very often. But uh, besides that, um, I don't think I have, I have gotten burned, but when I'm frying things, you know, but just something minor, I would say. Um, of course, I have cut part of my fingers, but nothing too big to go to the hospital. Um, oh, I remember. Only one time, uh, it was in the, in the motorcycle. My brother had a, a new motorcycle. No sé si les conté la historia. I don't know if I told you. So my brother got like a new motorcycle and I got very close to the muffler of the, of the motorcycle. So no me percaté, you know, de que lado estaba como el, el, how do you call that in Spanish? Uh, la parte que calienta. There is a part in the motorcycle that gets super hot. So I got my leg on that part, you know. So my leg got burned. Um, that was a second degree burn, I think. Um, my skin was like, so oh, that was really bad. And that hurt uh, as hell, definitely. <laughs> but that was the only time that I have gotten a serious burn, I would say. Um, Margarita, ya volvió. Margarita, are you back? No, right. Solo Ruben is here and Ricardo. Okay. So guys, what else can happen with this one, for example? With this little tricycle or bicycle, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, so que puede pasar? What accidents can happen with this one? Um, fall, and because it's near to the, to the uh, kitchen, mm -hmm. uh, probably you can uh, voltear, turn, turn off. Around, mm -hmm. turn around. Turn around. Uh, whatever you this uh, hirviendo or friendo. Oh, okay. Uh, you can get a really bad burn. Oh, okay. Okay. Or have an accident and uh broke um 
broke any tooth or I don't know, a part of your body. Yeah, that can definitely ha happen. Uh, also, we have this word that is a stumble, que es like tropezarse, right? So yeah, we can stumble also in the tricycle here and, uh, and yeah, you can get burned or you can break a part of your body as you said. Okay, anything else guys? ¿Qué más puede pasar? What other accident uh, you think can happen here? I would say, for example, with the iron, it's bien común que si no nos fijamos si se cae, se va a quemar, you know? So cloth is going to get burned. And not only cloth, creo que he visto mucha película, you know, but las, las, um, uh, the curtains, the roof, the floor, everything gets burned. So a big accident can happen. Um, Helen, algo más, anything else here? Um, explosion. Oh, yes, an explosion, that's right. So, ¿qué podría explotar, guys? What can explode? Um, the stove. The stove, this one, or the microwave? Uh, microwave. Maybe the microwave, right? Uh, no sé si esto es un quemador. I don't, no sé si es like a lighter, un encendedor. I don't really know what this is, but yeah, so that can explode. Definitely, yes. But a lot of things can go wrong. Guys, eh, tienen babies. Do you have babies? Yes. <laughs> okay, Helen, ¿qué más puede pasar con sus babies? <laughs> so you can tell us. I know, I don't know. <laughs> que estoy en un peligro andante. <laughs> no, Ticha, fíjese, yo no tuve mucho, mucho, ¿cómo le digo? Um, oh, ya no, no están, traviesos. no están pequeños. They are not no. like. No, ya, no, ya. No, no, How no. old are your, your kids? ¿Cuántos eh, años tienen? Eh, boys eh, 11. Oh. Y la, la niña tiene 15. Ay, no, ya, ya pasó la etapa de they are terrible and curious and everything. Ok, ok. Nice. That sounds actually very nice. No, but you know, um, incluso si no eran terribles, one of my nephews, for example, es bastante tranquilo, but he was jumping one day in the house from bed to bed, and uh, se le fue un piecito y en una esquinita, you know, dejó la frente. So he got like a terrible scar in the, in the head. Well, it's actually like here in the forehead. So, I mean, y era solo, it was not something big, not a big deal. But at the end, um, he got with two stitches, I think. So, I mean, accidents can happen, definitely. All right, girls, thank you for sharing your experiences. Let's go back. And that was really nice talking to you. Give me a moment. So thank you guys for coming back. Um, let me just take a look here. Faltan algunos, so hopefully they'll be back in some minutes. Give me just a second. Oh, okay, they are still in the groups. Uh, give me 10 seconds, guys. Ya estoy de nuevo, Tiché. Margarita, I'm glad. ¿Qué, ¿Qué sucedió con su compu? ¿Ya regresó a la vida? ¿Is it back? Sí, yo creo que ya, ya como dicen, ya va a dar el, el borrazo. Pero está ahorita con su teléfono o con su computer. Siempre en la compu, pero no sé por qué se me puso así. No sé si sería la señal o porque está lloviendo, pero... 
Pero ahorita sí, sí logra ver mi pantalla. Sí, sí, ahorita estoy viendo. Oh, qué raro, right? Aquí Super estoy. Weird. Oh, sí, ya la veo, de hecho. I see you now. Ok, well, esperemos que no, right? Esperemos que todavía no le toque a la computadora. Y gracias por regresar, Miss. Thank you so much. Um, Francisco, ¿ya estuvieron las pupusas? Are the pupusas ready? Sí, ya estuvieron. Ok, good. Good to hear that. So I was telling Francisco that solo nos viene a, a alterar, you know, el hambre, <laughs> sharing pupusas and everything. Okay, yeah. guys. So, uh, ¿qué tipo de accidentes can happen in this picture? So, escuché explosions. Um, so, definitely we can get burned with the iron. Um, fire. Fire, yes. Anything else? Más, guys, what else we can have a the connection? Um, mm -hmm. a connection. Okay, actually, yeah, there are a lot of connections here. Probably a teacher, the base, a cool brook. Oh, your... the base, this one, the vase, this, yeah, yes. it can break. Yeah, definitely, yeah, it can break. ¿Qué más, guys? What else do you see that can be Teacher, dangerous? How, how do you say caídas? Uh, oh, yeah. Fall so down. that is the stumble. Eh, podemos utilizar fall down, pero fall down is como yo me caigo sin... Yo solita, you know. And stumble mm -hmm. es que me tropiezo. So, for example... Como cuando hay niños en la casa, right? Y hay un juguete a media casa, so you can stumble and you can fall. So, or you can trip and fall. So, stumble or fall. Mm -hmm. okay. So, creo mm -hmm. que esto, that would be the one. Anything else? ¿Qué más puede pasar, guys? Any other accident that comes to your mind? The court times will be get on fire. Mm, okay, so they can get on fire. Guys, harían esto? Would you do something like this? Having electrical equipment? Y luego sure. the scene? Aha, uh -huh, sure. Okay. Want to die? Oh. Hot water. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For hot water? No. No. You'll die. We'll die. So that's not very common. Que me, que because, más, because of that, I don't trust in, uh, I don't know how do you say, but but the equipment that uh, uh, hot the water of the shower. Ah, okay. Like a steam showers. Me yes. neither. I me don't neither. trust in it. <laughs> me neither. I have seen like the, like the shower faucet, but I mean, I'm miedo, guys. I, I, I was telling yes. one of the groups que normalmente uh, tengo mucha estática, you know, so, eh, con, no sé si es que el, el agua sí conduce electricidad, but normally, uh, cuando toco algo, tengo electricidad, so I wouldn't do that. I, would, I wouldn't buy like a shower faucet um, that can heat water, so that's not for me. Um, <laughs> ¿Qué más, guys? What else? Well, uh... Yeah. A baby can burn his skin with the, uh, if he pull the towel uh, where uh, it, that is under the the cup of coffee. That's so right. Imagine that you just pull it. Oh, so you'll get burned, or your baby can get burned, or you can break it. Yeah, that's right. Anything else? Uh, no eye when knives. I, <laughs> when I was a child, I get a burn with. Hot coffee when I was uh, four or five years. Oh, why? Because uh, when I came to my house after school, mm -hmm. I, my father sent me to have some rest, mm -hmm. have some sleep. And when I woke up, they bring me hot coffee mm -hmm. with uh, and dulce. Oh, with pastry, and, huh? and, and, and I am so small the the table is like this over me and when I put the 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 pan the the, the bread into the coffee 
and like okay, I try to get in my mouth, I get the coffee over. Oh, like the all like my the chest, cat's thorn over all here. Oh, my chest was oh, burned. Oh, okay, that sounds painful. Since that age, I drink hot coffee. <laughs> uh, well, that is one thing because you're not yeah. supposed to drink coffee when you're so mm -hmm. young but okay yeah but that's super dangerous okay and we punish because i was so because you inquieto. were reckless inquieto. oh okay because <laughs> they were mischievous or yeah. playful we can say so miss she goes or a uh, playful Okay, okay. So, aparte de la quemada de café, you know, the, you were punished too. Oh. No, Very no. They, they, they always, eh, ¿cómo dice? Re, me regañaban. Oh, school. They scolded you. Porque yo era demasiado inquieto, pero oh. me acostaba a dormir y me levantaban y me daban café a esa oh. edad. <laughs> Okay, y más si el pan era extremadamente dulce y una uh -huh, era más sugar. Uh, uh, so those famous were... eights or joyos. Joyos. ¿Cuáles son los joyos, guys? Son, eran two half in, in, and in the middle they get some jelly. Oh, the red one. Uh -huh, and and cover oh. of red sugar. Yeah, no, but they were super sweet. So imagine how much sugar. Yeah, delicious. yeah, but but if you are hyperactive with a lot of sugar and coffee that has more sugar and caffeine now. And I've been God. sleeping two or three hours. So you and have after, more energy <laughs> after lunch. <laughs> so okay, no, tenían que darle. Uh, ¿Cómo se llama guys? Stand, stand, no, Tylenol, <laughs> probably to sleep or something. Okay, guys. So that has been really interesting talking to you about this. Um, tomorrow, guys, uh, we need to continue. Uh, vamos a revisar un par de expresiones related to this. Um, in your material, uh, so para darle solamente un poquito de, de contexto, cuando hablamos de riesgos, también hablamos de esta palabra que es súper famosa, uh, that is uh, la que tenemos acá, give me one moment, se me acaba de perder, oh, es acá, so hazards, so um, we can okay. use this word, uh -huh. usamos por lo general risk, right, son los riesgos, Uh, usamos dangers para hablar de peligros, pero también hablamos de hazard o hazardous activities. So, uh, tenemos más vocabulario para revisar el día de mañana, but I think that today was super productive. Gracias, guys, for participating, giving your ideas. And uh, um, les voy a estar compartiendo uh, later today um, a video para que revisemos un par de accidentes más que pueden pasar y veamos también extra vocabulary. Eh, guys, si me ayudan un momentito solo con su, eh, su cámara, please. Let me go over eh, the attendance of the day. And the <laughs> oh, give me a second, guys. Uh, guys, just a, a quick question here. Uh, ya comenzaron a trabajar uh, los ejercicios de la unidad número 4. Alguien ya terminó toda la 4. Han tenido alguna I, dificultad? In the middle okay. of the unit four. Good, 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 good. ¿Alguien ha tenido dificultades eh, con algún ejercicio of unit four? Not so far. Hasta el momento, no, no not much. Ok. Let me know, please, si tienen alguna dificultad. He tenido dificultad. con algunos. Se los voy a, a marcar para que para ver si podemos ver el día de mañana. Definitely. Si tienen algún ejercicio, tomen la captura, please, or de, en qué sección está para que lo podamos revisar, right? Um, si es gramatical o si es de vocabulario, we can definitely check it here. Uh, okay, guys. Solamente me regalan confirmación, please. Um, Andrea. 
Present. Gracias, Miss. One moment. Se puedo cargar Belén. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much, Carlos. Here, teacher. Delmi. Present. Thank you, Felix. Present. Gracias, Francisco. And the pupusas. <laughs> Present. Thank you so much, Helen. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Miss Imelda. Present. Thank you, Iris. Present. Gracias, Miss Arnoldo. Uh, Ricardo. Ricardo, si está acá, también. Thank you so much, Thank Kenya. You. Present teacher. This is Miss Angelica. Present. Thank you, Gabby. Present. Thank you, Rafa. Present. Thank you so much, Margarita. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Ruben. Oh, Ruben, si estaba acá. Judy. Present teacher. Thank you, and Mauricio. Present teacher. Thank you so much. All right, guys. Gracias a todos por uh, unirse el día de ahora. Nos quedan cuatro sesiones solamente. I hope to see you tomorrow. And yes, in the meantime, teacher. see guys, acá se terminamos. Please don't miss the last sessions. Eh, Yuri, si me regalo un par de minutitos, please. Los demás guys, estamos dismissed. So have a good night. Bye bye, everybody. Good night. See you, see you. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Dame un momentito. Permítame, Judy. Give me just a moment. Okay. Thank you, Judy. So, solo le voy a robar un par de minutitos here. Um, Miss, okay. recuerdo que teníamos eh, un ejercicio pendiente, right? Eh, en nuestra sesión anterior de one on one. Eh, no sé si lo pudo realizar. ¿Cómo se sintió with the exercise? Lo hizo, no lo hizo. Tell me about it. <laughs> yes, I listened, but no writing. Okay, so you listened to it, but you didn't write it though. Okay, okay. So, um, ya estamos como terminando el módulo, pretty much. And uh, quería aprovechar, you know, para eh, mencionar un par de cositas. Eh, primero, Miss, uh, thank you so much. Eh, porque siento que desde el primer día hasta este momento me está participando más. So you're participating a little more. Eh, es, la siento mucho más activa en la clase, which is amazing. It's really good. Pero todavía mm. quiero escucharla más. Miss. <laughs> I okay. want to listen to you more. So está haciendo súper buen trabajo. And I know you can do better. El día de ahora no le escuché. So that's why I would like to listen to you. Um, talking about some of these uh, like experiences, you know, um, accidents, risk at home, etc. So have you ever had like um, any accident at home or with your babies or nieces, nephews or family members? I have an uh, accident. Oh, what with happened? My baby, with my baby in the, in the car. Oh, okay. Because the because my mi niña my, <laughs> my baby, baby uh -huh. my baby se cayó y se oh. abrió la cabeza wait but when you say that se cayó you mean ella estaba caminando no este se deslizó de la parte del carro Okay. Cuando estábamos estacionados, se deslizó y pegó en la en la acera, en the strip. Oh, okay. Y is the accident bad? Very oh, bad. okay, okay. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, pero ya está bien. Is she okay now? Yes, is I was I was Como le digo, before, before, oh, como le digo, and, ya pasó hace mucho tiempo. Oh, that was a long time ago. So, 
a long that, time. That was a long time, time. ago. Okay, it was a long time ago. Eh, le pusieron stitches, le pusieron como puntadas. Yes. Okay, how many stitches did she get? Uh, three. Three stitches. Okay. Three stitches. Okay, okay. So, vamos a intentar contar la historia. So, we're going to try to tell this story. Yo sé que no es como tan agradable, but la idea es eh, eh, empezar a organizar nuestras ideas, too. Eh, primero, vamos a utilizar it. Eh, no se le olvide utilizar it cuando es como eso, cuando habla de una situación, right? Por ejemplo, pasó hace mucho tiempo. Podemos usar it was. It was a long time ago. So, it, it happened. Como eso pasó rápido. It happened very fast. Or, si voy a utilizar, voy a contar de ella. So, she. Siempre necesito eh, contar o decir, um, mencionar de quién estoy hablando, right? Um, sleep es deslizarse. So, we, are, we can use sleep, el pasado. And hit the sidewalk. Um, es, sidewalk es como la acera. So we can say like, she hit the sidewalk. Ella se golpeó contra la acera. So she hit the sidewalk. Y luego se me puede agregar tantos detalles como pueda, right? Stitches okay. es la palabra. Stitches es para las puntadas, right? So me puede decir like, um, como entre más detalles demos eh, por eh, propósitos de comunicación that would be better, like, Luego fuimos al hospital, you know, and um, con stitches podemos usar get. Um, so she got uh, five, she got three stitches and that was a long time ago, right? Que es para decir que fue hace mucho tiempo. So that okay. was a long time ago or lo cambiamos para it was a long time ago, pero siempre necesitamos el it. Okay. okay. So, vaya Yuri, intente contármelo. <laughs> so tell okay. me the story, what happened? In my case, uh, is um, in my case, I had a bad experience. Um, it was a long time ago. Okay. Um, with my baby. Okay. She, she is little. Mm -hmm. She has lived in on on in the car. Okay. And and I'm going to the hospital. Oh, okay. Or, or to the to the east. Oh, okay. Because ah, oh, she she hit the side side sidewalk yes because when she he he because she she went mm -hmm. oh gravedad <laughs> oh urgency or it was it was an emergency yes uh-huh so it was it was it an was emergency. An emergency? Was she bleeding? Sorry? Yes. Uh, was was she bleeding? Bleed. She was she bleeding? Was she bleeding? Like blood floating. Was she bleeding? Bleed is sangrar. Was she bleeding? No es Estaba sangrando. Blood. Yes, yes, blood is sangre. Y sangrar, el verbo, is bleed. Oh, okay. Es de acá. Yes. Okay. Was she bleeding? She bleeding? She bleeding, ah. yes. Like a lot or a much. little bit? Much. Oh, much. okay. Were you nervous? Yeah, I am nervous. But were you alone or were you with someone else, with your husband, with your family member? Mm, family, family, oh, family nervous. Oh, okay. E because she, she, se recuperó pronto? 
Oh, okay. She felt. She felt better. She felt better. She felt better soon. She oh, felt better. that is very nice, especially because entre más jóvenes, I think, más rápido, right? So they yeah. get better soon. Oh, very yeah. nice. Nice, Judy. Super, super nice. So, Thank you. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? You know, esta palabra she y esta palabra it. Solamente que le agreguemos el sujeto hace una gran diferencia al momento que lo vamos contando. So that okay. is very nice. That actually sounds very good. Eh, me alegra que usted la agarra y uno en el aire, so la agarra súper rápida. Okay. So ahora lo que necesitamos entonces es ir ordenando siempre nuestras ideas y no olvidarnos del sujeto, right? Sujeto, verbo okay. y complemento. So usted tiene la idea de cómo ordenarlo. But a veces eh, nos saltamos la parte del sujeto. Siempre, si es una cosa, una actividad, una experiencia, it, right? Por ejemplo, era una emergencia. En español digo era una emergencia, pero en inglés uh, necesito eh, una oración completa. Entonces, siempre como es una cosa, exacto, voy a agregarle it. Siempre que sean como cosas, eh, actividades, experiencias, le puedo agregar it. So it was an emergency. O puedo decir, ah, fue bien preocupante, por ejemplo. O it was scary, right? So um, it was, or yo estaba muy preocupada. So I was very uh, worried. Mm -hmm. so I was very worried. O mi familia, perdón. O mi familia estaba muy preocupada. So en vez de I, my family was very worried. Y eso, worried. Uh -huh. okay. y solamente agregarle el sujeto hace como un gran cambio en, en la descripción, right? In the, in the class of today, in the picture, in the kitchen. Yeah. My opinion is that um, the skills no, yes. no era así. Skills. No, kiss. The, no. ¿Cuál era la pregunta? El, con el... ¿Cuál, Miss? Ah, oh, sorry. Permítame. Uh, ok. The wrist. Oh, wrist. Uh -huh. The biggest wrist uh, is the electrical connection in the kitchen. The electrical connections? In the kitchen. Oh, in your case, like in your personal case? Is in the, in the class. Oh, today. okay. So that's part of the, yeah, I mean, es que that is the point, que todo se convierte en un riesgo, right? Desde yeah. el tenedor, you know, from the fork, the knife, I mean, everything is a the hazard. Iron. The iron, exactly, or the... Yeah. Uh, I think so. mm -hmm. Oh, nice. I'm, I'm glad to hear that. Uh, sí, no, solamente no. tenía esa parte pendiente because I heard that, pero se me había olvidado mencionarla, you know, so I was like, no, ahora que tengo el espacio libre, I'm going to go over uh, with Judy. So, Solamente era parte de eh, eso, Yuri, eh, que no se los, no se olvide siempre el sujeto, right? Eh, eh, es lo okay. único que le he escuchado so far, eh, que de repente el sujeto um, se, se pierde. Ajá, no, no está presente. Uh -huh. en, en la idea se queda como un poquito cortadita, pero de lo contrario, sus ideas son bien geniales. So solamente es de, de organizarla poniéndole el sujeto. That would be it. And there you go. Pero, pero uh -huh. lo está haciendo súper bien. Y sí me alegra mucho que la veo más activa. La, la escucho participando a Little More en comparación con las primeras sesiones. So good job. That sounds really, really nice. Yeah. All right. But, Gracias, Miss. Dígame. But, tell me, tell me. Oh, it's um, the raining is more difficult for the connection. I know. Um, usted me mandó un mensaje por casualidad que le habían escrito, no? Yesterday. Sí, verdad. Yesterday. Yeah, yeah, I remember. No sé si le comenté o le contesté. I'm not sure about it. 
eh, pero sí lo leí, pues, eh, but, but no se preocupe, Miss, eh, sobre los recordatorios, normalmente los compañeros um, de, de, um, de administración mandan como los mensajes de forma genérica para hacerles el recordatorio, right, de conectarse a las sesiones. But, but no worries, yo sí la veo, uh, you know, que, que acá está pendiente y yo sé que si viene tarde a veces no es porque no quiera, sino porque hay algo más, right, que nos impide o a veces la lluvia, la conexión, etc. Pero gracias, sí. Miss, gracias enormes por, por estar acá con sí. nosotros. So, thank have you. a really good night y gracias por el tiempo, Miss. So, thank you for have your time. Night. Have a good night. Bye.